Welcome to Musical Listening, and we're going to talk about Amazing Slowdowner here. If you're new, uh, consider subscribing and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what other uh, tech or uh, music education uh, topics you'd like to see here. Uh, and be sure and check out the other videos on Amazing Slowdowner. I'll link them up in the cards and down in the description, and there will also be a playlist here on the channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about the three main ways that I use to get music onto the app uh, and here we go so of course uh, in no particular order here uh, we have the import song button down here that you can press and you will get a menu here um, music library photo library or browse okay we're going to go into what browse is but music library is just of course and you press on that and what you see here is a list of uh, items just like you would see in the actual music app so this is importing from the music i actually have stored on the ipad here um, that's accessible through the music app so let's just search for um oh a song that i wrote There it is. Long time ago, long story. Maybe one day I'll tell it to you all. All right. So here it is there in my my music and I can go there and play on that and it will play. Space. Ah, oh, isn't that nice guitar? All right. So that is one way, all right, to get music on here. We're not going to use that song here for our demo. All right. Uh, the other two main ways that I use are, again, click this import song, okay, go to browse, and I have the option to uh, get it from any of my cloud services. I just have iCloud showing here. All right, you know, you can add Google Drive, Adobe, Dropbox, any of this stuff, you know, that you want to use uh, to get on there. Mine uh, for this is on my cloud drive. And here's, I'm going to use this uh, Star Spangled Banner version from our friends over at Epidemic Sound. Um, and this comes from Epic Classical. I'll put a link if you're interested in this uh, version of Star Spangled Banner. Um, and it's great to go over there to the, uh, you know, their royalty free site. You can use it anywhere. And also, they, uh, let you download the different stems, the different separated out parts, if that's uh, of use to you in your ensemble or for other practice. So I'll put a link down there to that, but I click on that, and there it is. All right, Star Spangled Banner there in my music. Now, you'll notice over here in other songs, I have tons and tons of music over here in this folder. Um, I've been using Amazing Slowdowner since 2009. Uh, that's when I first downloaded this app from the App Store. Um, and there's this Wi-Fi import option here. And it gives you uh, a web address. And what you do is, they still have this for people like me that have been using this for so long. All right, you'll see that I have the uh, address here from, now you'll see here that I have the address here from the page, all right, typed in there. And when I type that in, I gotta make sure everything, uh, Wi-Fi is turned on, all right. And um, I go here to choose file. All right, and I can get to my iCloud drive this way. Oops, went to the wrong place, sorry. I have this thing really buried here, don't I? Okay, okay, there's a Star Spangled Banner. Open it up, upload. To get there. All right. And then I just got to find it in the long list of 
music here. Huh, there it is. All right, Star Spangled Banner. All right, and it puts it up there in other songs. All right, so three uh, great ways, and I just click on it here. And there it is, ready to go. All right, those are the three main ways that I use. And of course you can go back and you can make uh, new folders, move songs around, uh, however you need to, uh, once you've gotten all your music in here that you're going to use. All right, uh, again, if you like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, let me know what you liked, and uh, let me know what else you'd like to see. And thanks for watching.